dive and sand volleyball. While diving is a very cool looking thing for photographs, it's actually very uncomfortable and not always necessary in the sand. Once you dive for a ball, the play is still continuing, so you have to get up and then go to offense. When you dive, it is actually should be your last ditch effort to go for a ball. Diving should be done when you're already in a defensive stance and you're fairly low to the ground. If you're diving from up here, look how much further it is for me to go to the ground. It's about five feet. Once you get older, the five foot fall hurts quite a bit more. So you wanna be lower to the ground already. So when you make a dive move, you're only going two to three feet to the ground. And if you get really low, only one foot. And then it's easier to push back up. You wanna dive, you wanna try and land instead of fully on your stomach. Try to land more on your side. That protects a lot of your organs. And you don't wanna dive fully extend it with your arm because that's how you get shoulder injuries. If you dive and then hit the sand with your arm instead of on your side, it sends a shock wave all the way up your body. So perfect dive technique is similar to having good defensive technique where you're low, you're ready, you take a big step and then you continue to fall to the ground instead of jumping to the ground and hitting it hard. The sand is soft and cushiony, but you can still manage to find ways to injure yourself. So dive with caution. Try and get your feet to the ball and lift and only dive at a last resort. Those are a couple of ways that you can use diving in beach volleyball.